Hello and welcome to Pilsen 2023 World Archery Para Championships from the Czech Republic. It's a pleasure that you can join us today for action coming up in the visually impaired categories. There are two categories. Looking forward to your company as we get the gold medalist sorted out for 2023. Yes, hello, I'm Glenn Lama. Thank you for being with us and uh, pleased to report the weather here in Pilsen is very nice for archery today. Temperature around 17 degrees Celsius at the moment. The wind speed is around 10 kilometres per hour. That's around just under three metres a second. So all in all, ideal conditions, no rain expected in the forecast today. And don't we have a lovely location for this year's World Para Championships? An ideal spot right in the heart of Pilsen. Some lovely architecture surrounding the the arena here that's been created for this year's championships. So here we go. We are about to have the bronze medal match in the VI1 category. Visually impaired archery has two different categories. And we welcome to the shooting line Christos Misos from Cyprus. Current world ranking of two. And Ruben van Hollebecker of Belgium, the current world number one. And he's actually the defending gold medalist from last year in Dubai, is van Hollebecker. So you may be wondering what the V1 categories are and the other category, V2 slash 3. Well, in this category, they have must wear the athletes must wear blindfolds or blackout glasses while competing they are allowed to have an assistant sitting or standing one meter behind the shooting line and they shoot to a target which is 30 meters away so they are shooting at a target 30 meters away so a bronze medal at stake here, and Van Hollenbecker, who qualified second in 430 with uh, 433 points, he's going to get things underway here. So it's a very challenging sport for athletes with this level of visual impairment. Imagine standing on the shooting line and not being able to see the target at all. Super challenging. So Van Hollenbeck has made an excellent start here. He's also uh, won a gold medal back in 2019 as well. So he's been the, the premier really the premier archer in this visual impairment category for some years now. Six. It's also won a European Para Championship gold medal last year too. Don't be disappointed not to make the final here in Pilsen in 2023. Seven. So a good finish to that set there for Van Hollenbecker. He got three arrows on the target face. And Misos finishes with a five there. So it's the end of the first set. Van Hollenbecker only lost his semi-final in a shoot-off to Craig Newbury of Australia, 9-6. So a very tight match, that semi-final. And Misos was beaten by the Italian, Matteo Panariello, six set points to zero. So Misos looking to... Fight back the Cypriot here and uh, try and claim a bronze medal. He too has medaled at a World Archery Para Championships, winning the silver in 2019. Both very experienced archers in their mid 40s. So Van Hollenbecker is going to win that first set 20 points to 11.
all about the field for these archers. And they'll be very pleased. It's very settled conditions for today's bronze medal match. So in this session, we're going to have four matches for you. We'll have the gold medal match coming up in the V I one category straight after this and then we'll have the bronze and gold medal matches in the V2 slash 3 category so you may also be wondering how or what's the determination to kind of fit the category for each archer it does get complicated as you could imagine there is a, a visual actuity test which is conducted to determine which category the archer falls into. So a slight delay here as uh, we get the second set. But, uh, Van Hollenbecker of Belgium here, having taken the first set by two set points to nil. Let's get the second set underway with Christos Misos of Cyprus. Getting set to start the second set. Oh, yes, that's a gem. It's a pen -X. It's more like it from the Cypriot. Miss. Just missing there was Van Hollenbecker. So Misos has the maximum advantage after one arrow of the second set. from the Belgian. Of course, it only takes one low score from Misos here, and Van Hollenbecker is right back in the in the set. Now, Misos has got... Uh, just waiting for an arrow... And he unfortunately hasn't got that arrow back in time, so that is a, a miss there oh. from Misos. And he will still win the set. So it's going to be a 15 set point to 13. So this is, I guess, the, uh, the interesting thing with this visually impaired archery contest just because Misos had a 10-0 lead after the first arrow doesn't necessarily mean he might go on and win but clearly something was wrong there in the Cypriots camp as he definitely wanted that arrow back but in the end he has done enough to equal this matchup at two set points each it's all set up by that fantastic first arrow from Isos at an X. Very important to keep your composure despite the issues that may emerge during matches. It's all part of the sport. Shooting order, so target two shoots first. Go set number three now. Van Hollenbecker winning that first set by 20 points to 11. And then the Cypriot bouncing back to win the second. So game on here. Best of basically a three set encounter. Good support for each archer in this VI1 
bronze medal match. Nine. Oh, that's the first yellow score for the Belgian. Good start. One. You can see on the shooting line below their feet, there's a guide there too. It's like a plank there to keep their heels on and keep them square. Make sure that their setup is as best it can possibly be to help them. And remember, they're shooting with blackout glasses. They can't see the target. One. And Van Hollenbecker now has won the, the third set. And he will be wanting to finish with a good score here, and he has. That's some good scoring there. 23 out of a possible 30. Most of us amateurs will be would be pretty happy with 23 out of 30 with full sight. So it's quite remarkable Van Hollenbeck is able to achieve. He's certainly been the more consistent of the, the two archers in this bronze medal match. He'll take a four set point to two lead. And I can only imagine too hearing the, the support from spectators like that will be quite uplifting for the two archers. Good scores there for Van Hollenbecker as he jumps out again. But still plenty of opportunity here for Misos. He can get some consistent scoring going. Anything is possible. Van Hollenbecker's actually last arrow was upgraded to an eight. So 24 was his total score in that set. So Misos to go first. Both archers looking to get into their happy zone. And Hollenbecker wins the set, of course, he'll win the bronze medal. Quick release that time from Misos. That was a good arrow, one of his better ones in the match. Well, Misos would love a 10. Likewise for Van Hollenbecker. Most of his arrows just uh, drifting a little right. Let's see what Misos can do here. Nice quick release. That's better. Uh, that'll lock in a score of 19. So to win the bronze, Van Hollenbecker needs a six or higher. And he'll get another medal out of World Championships. And he has. That's a fantastic performance from Ruben Van Hollenbecker of Belgium. And he's going to win this bronze medal with some very consistent archery, particularly in the last two sets. He went 9 7 8. 7 7 8. Not too much emotion there from Ruben Holland, Van Hollenbecker. But he has been very successful in recent years. Two time world archery para champion and a European champion as well. But uh, it's going to be bronze for him in 2023 here in Wilson in the Czech Republic. So there he is. All confirmed now and finally he can relax and get that smile on his face. A win there to Ruben van Hollenbecker. Hard luck there for Christos Misos of Cyprus. But great effort to get to the the bronze medal match. That's a great moment there between the two, right there.
That is what sport is all about. So Ruben van Hollenbecker, congratulations to him. The bronze medalist here in the VI1 category here in 2023. Next up, we have our gold medal match between Matteo Panariello of Italy. And he's going to be up against Craig Newbury. Time now for the VI1 gold medal match here at the Pilsen 2023 World Archery Para Championships. This one's Italy against Australia. On turn number one, representing Italy, Matteo Panariello. Well, here we go. This is going to be quite a match between Matteo Panariello and Craig Newbury, both competing in their very first gold medal match at a World Archery Para Championship, both at their third World Archery Para Championship. So they've never gone this deep. Panariello is the top seed. 459 was a score. He's won both his matches in the quarterfinals and the semi 6-0. Craig Newbury, big win over Ruben Van Hollenbeck of the world number one in the semis by six set points to five. He won it in a shoot off, 9 6. So the Aussie, the 58 year old, in excellent form. Let's just remind you of the rules. They're shooting at the target, which is 30 metres away. They have both are wearing blackout glasses. They can't see through those glasses in the VI1 category. Must either wear a blindfold or wear blackout glasses and are allowed an assistant to sit behind them or stand behind them, as you can see, one metre behind them. Newbury shooting with that compound bow is underway. And unfortunately, couldn't get an arrow on the target to open his scoring. So it is a wonderful achievement for these two to get to their very first final. Panariello does have medals at the European Championships, winning gold in the individual in 2018 and bronze last year. And it's wonderful to see the Australian come through to compete for gold here in the Czech Republic. Uh, looks like it's a liner on the nine, doesn't it? The Aussie contingent is strong here. There's quite a few that have uh, come up from down under to represent their country here at these championships across the various categories. So Newbury's going to lock in a score of 10 with his first three arrows in set number one. So it's going to be just two set points to this man, the Italian. He's 35. Seven. And excellent scoring from him. Three arrows on the target face. Makes all the difference. He's locked in a score there of 20. 20 to 10. So, Panariello, who has been, as, has been a former world number one. He, he got there back in March 2019. And Newbury, his highest world ranking has been four which was in July last year. So these two have been up amongst the, the elite in this category for visually impaired archers for some time. These, all these archers, I'm sure, know each other very well. There was 11 of them that uh, competed in the qualification. I'm sure they've been around the circuit for a while, most of these guys. 
right lens there gives you a great indication of the challenge of archery on the shooting line let alone not being able to see the target Hoping to get as relaxed and as calm on the shooting line as possible. He trails in this gold medal match. Two set points to nil. But still plenty of opportunities for him to come back. So worth mentioning too that archery in both the V1 and V2 slash 3 categories they are also allowed tactile sights as well. Basically it's all field and it's seven. So good start there for the Italian. Very consistent scorer so far in this match. Five. Well, everything above four so far for the Italian. That was in his first arrow. He's been very solid since. Oh, hard luck there for Newbury. So it's going to be another two set points for the Italian. Five. Yep, his solid scoring continues. Six arrows on the target face for Henry Yellow and Newbury has missed two from four or two from six now. So it's the Italian Newbury, remember, brilliant in that uh, semi final win over the world number one. And now he needs to recapture some of that feel good factor heading into the last two sets. Well, Newbury can turn it on. Just going back through his through scorecards here. Does actually have the highest set score in the tournament, which was 27. That was in set number four in the semi finals against Van Hollebecker. He can turn it on, but he's got another score of 24 in his previous match over an American. Whereas uh, Panariello is only in as high as 21. But it's advantage to the Italian. So far in the gold medal match. Well, can the Aussie get hot? He's a very capable archer as Craig Newbury in more than capable of getting scores into the 20s. So if he can get a 20 plus score here, it will be hugely beneficial to him. Set number three. Second arrow in the yellow for the Italian. And look at that. He's happy. One. Well, New 
Newbury just not able to recapture his form from the previous match so far. Six. And that is going to be the gold medal right there for the Italian. Newbury with one arrow left. Can't make up the deficit. Well, couldn't find his best archery in the final, the Australian. But here's the gold medalist, Matteo Panariello. And he's won it with an arrow to spare. Finishes with a seven. Nine solid arrows there from him. And he is a gold medalist here in Pilsen. 2023 World Para Archery Championships. His first ever World Championship title. And he does it at his third appearance at this championship. And it is just awesome to see the Italian. You feel for the Aussie who has to settle for silver. Still a magnificent achievement. But all the years and the practice training and competing have culminated right here for the Italian. And he is your champion for 2023. Panariello wins this match by six set points to nil. Good match. And Craig Newbury gets the silver for Australia. And earlier, of course, Ruben van Hollebecker from Belgium won the bronze medal. Huge congratulations. You have just won a gold medal. How does it feel? Uh, I'm so happy now because this is the first final. Uh, and yesterday I said uh, that uh, Pilsen for me is a magic, magic place because in uh, 2018 I won the mm, title, the European title, and in my first uh, uh, convocation with the Italian team. And now uh, I return to Pilsen and I win another medal. And uh, for me, it's uh, a, a great day because uh, I worked so strong uh, to be here. Um, and uh, I think that uh, this is uh, the, the, great, uh, <laughs> the great results that I have a dream. Uh, I would like to say thanks uh, uh, to my uh, uh, coach Alessandra in the in this mm, competition, my uh, another person that I would like to say thanks is my coach in Italy, Paolo, my family. Uh, I would like to dedicate this medal to my brother that uh, I lost uh, two years ago, and uh, he had a dream. Uh, to see me win a, a medal, a war medal, and now I win the medal, and this is only for, uh, for him. Thank you, brother. You seem pretty confident during the final. Uh, was that the yesterday a uh, great shooting that made you so confident and, and make the final go, go so smooth for you? Uh, I, I'm, I would like to be more confident with the final and the semi-final, quarter-final, because yesterday I was suffering <laughs> a lot. But today I, I feel that uh, could be a good day, okay? And uh, now it is. <laughs> I, I, I'm so happy. I, I, I don't have enough words to explain what I feel now, because uh, I am the world champions, and uh, <laughs> I think it's enough, you know? <laughs> Thank you very much, and once Thank again, you. huge congratulations on becoming the world champion.
Thank you. Well, hello and welcome to another session of archery here in Pilsen in the Czech Republic. This is the 2023 World Archery Para Championships. And uh, we have uh, some cloudy conditions here in Pilsen for this session. The temperature is nice, though. It's 21 degrees Celsius. And there is 50% humidity in the temperature. Uh, rather, the wind speed at the moment, 11 kilometers per hour. That's around uh, just over three meters a second so pretty decent conditions really for this session so what do we have in the session we have the visually impaired archers in the two three category so these are archers who have slightly better eyesight than those that competed in the v1 and uh, we're looking forward to seeing bronze medal and gold medal matches coming up in just a moment in the individual competition we're going to have three archers from great britain competing in these two matches and one from Italy. So looking forward to seeing the very best in the V2, V3 category. You can see the target face is all set. They are shooting from a distance of 30 meters. So looking forward to seeing this action as we have many. Uh, as I go through the, the uh, profiles of the archers coming up, all four have medaled at previous World Archery Parrot Championships. So we've got some very good, uh, high quality archers about to compete for the medals here in 2023 in the Czech Republic. Just like any category of archery and any discipline of archery, the archers are here to win and do their very best on the world stage with gold medal reward coming up for the winner of the finals, which we will see shortly. So I come the two archers for the bronze medal match in the visually impaired 2-3 category. And we have two archers from Great Britain about to go against each other here. Philip Trantner of Great Britain and Nicholas Thomas. So Trantner, 64 years of age, Thomas 45, they're both very experienced. Thomas won the bronze medal in this category at the World Championships four years ago in 2019. And Trantner, this is his second appearance at a World Archery Para Championships. He's not medaled before, so if he can win this match here, he will win a medal for the first time at the highest level. So both of these archers have had a win and a loss to get to this match. Both won their quarterfinals, but both lost their semis. Both of these archers highly ranked They're inside the top 10 in the world rankings. So Nicholas Thomas to go first. And they are allowed an assistant to sit behind them or stand. They can... The assistants, one metre behind them. To provide guidance. As we see Trantner now getting set for his first arrow of the contest. And that's licked the four line. Both of these archers have been scoring consistently well into the 20s through their matches so far in each set. It's another four for Trantner and 
just yet to find his comfort zone just yet. So Thomas with a, a good lead here can win the first set. And he's done so. So 9-7-9. That's a, a good start for Thomas. Trainer will need to make adjustments, have a chat to his assistant, and look forward to the second set. As Trantner takes the, the first set pretty comfortably there. The first set. Looks like a 25-14 scoreline will be locked in for Nicholas Thomas. Thomas did score much more heavily in the qualification. He ended up uh, with a score of 596. That was 61 more points than Trantner was able to achieve. So Trantner was qualified in fifth place. 11 archers in this category here. So again, a uh, small but Highly competitive and highly skilled group of archers in the visually impaired competition here in the Czech Republic. So Thomas takes the first set, two set points to nil. In this bronze medal match. So going to be, once again, Philip Trantner. Trantner, rather, to go first. Had a win over Kathleen Murens of Belgium, and Steve Prowse was uh, too good for him in the semi. Six points to four. It's the other thing about this form of archery here. Women and men are in the same category. They don't compete in separate classes. They compete against each other. Ten. There's the first ten of the contest. It was a beauty, too, from... Thomas, yes, he enjoyed it too. Oh, Thomas is going well here. If there's five arrows so far, three have been yellow scores. Looks like he's brought his A game to this match. That's just missed the four line, so Trantner again not able to really score as he would have liked in the second set, just like the first set. So Thomas is going to win the second set with an arrow to spare. be a six that's his uh, lowest scoring arrow to date but it's still a score of 24 and he is looking good here in this bronze medal match just one set now away from victory 24 points to 12 he took that set Trainer looking for as much inspiration as he can find now Still not impossible for him to come back and win this contest. We've seen plenty of archery matches down through the years where winners in the sets format have been four set points to nil down. So confirm scores there. 24 points to 12. So four set points to nil to Nicholas Thomas. <laughs> it's good to see him enjoying himself on the shooting line. It's very important, I think, to switch off in between sets. Not over 
to think things too much. So here we go. Set number three now in the bronze medal match. Trankner. Off he goes. Trantner in his uh, quarterfinal and semifinal was scoring heavily into the 20s. Just not able to get it going here with scores of 10 and 12 so far. Nine. Whereas Thomas is really starting to be very comfortable. That's five arrows in the gold zone. Well, Tranta has finished with a 10, but it still won't be enough for the bronze medal. It's got to be Thomas. It's a six, but any arrow on the target... Just a six, but it's going to be bronze to Nicholas Thomas of Great Britain against his compatriot, Philip Tranta. Too good for his teammate. Always hard playing a compatriot when a medal's at stake. He's trying to just uh, explain perhaps why he wasn't comfortable on the shooting line, but in stark contrast, that was Nicholas Thomas. So he wins his second bronze medal at a World Archery Para Championships, having won the bronze back in 2019. It's more podium success for Nicholas Thomas, winning bronze in 2023, beating Philip Tranter by six set points to nil.
They brought me the answer to the field of play for the developer to win the gold medal match. Gold medal match now in the visually impaired 2-3 category here at Pilsen 2023, the World Archery Para Championships. And out comes Steve Prowse from Great Britain and Danielle Piran of Italy. So Steve Prowse, the 64-year-old, a two-time winner of this championship back in 2019 and 2015. He's also a double gold medalist at the European Para Championships. And he looks determined to make it three world championships here in 2023. Nice symmetry. Each of the last two having four years apart. Can he go gold here again? Daniel Piran won't be easy to beat, though. He is the world number one at the moment. And he was the bronze medalist from last year's World Archery Para Championships and the gold medalist from last year's European Para Championships. Good 6-4 wins over Adrian Oliales Vidal of Spain and Nicholas Thomas of Great Britain for Piran. Browse has beaten Tav, or Tanvir Ahmed of Pakistan and Philip Tranter of Great Britain in his two matches. Browse was on form two in the qualification round. He scored 616 points. That was 20 points higher than second place. Tiran finished third in the qualification. On 565, so he's well behind Prowse. So, all that's history now, though, doesn't mean anything as the two archers stand on the shooting line for the gold medal match in the visually impaired 2 3 category. Prowse has been scoring consistently in the 20s in his matches, lowest score for him, set scores 24. It's a, a seven there for Piran to open. Lowest score for Piran in his matches has been 23. Well, in fact, no, there's an 18 in his semi final win. But other than that blemish, he's been fairly solid as well. Now, his visually impaired archers are shooting at a target, which is 30 metres away here in Pilsen. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. And this is a competitive first set. Still very much alive, heading to the last arrow. Browse is going to lock in a score of 23, so a 9 or a 10. We'll see the Italian win the first set. It's an 8. It's an 8, so don't get tired provisionally. So we'll see if that gets confirmed. There were a couple of arrows close to the line, but it looked all fairly solid. Well, if we go and get uh, a similar scores in the sets from here in this match, we're going to be in for a really good match between these two archers. Piran, that first arrow of his has been start a six at the moment, but definitely looked like it grabbed the seven line. Seven. Oh, 
As we check the shooting stances and styles of both archers. Good to see the spectators enjoying themselves here too. So we do have a tied set. And a perfect way to start the match. Of course, if you're a neutral supporter, if you're a supporter of Prowse or Paran, I'm sure you'll be hoping for more with the second set now on us. Prowse has been involved in archery as a competitor since 1999. It uh, really does emphasise how the sport really is an all-age sport with Prowse taking taking the sport up until he was in his 40s. And here he is, a uh, going for his third world championship. He can win this match. And he's got a formidable opponent in the 50-year-old from Italy. Again, nothing in it. Halfway through the second set. Every arrow feels it's going to be absolutely critical for these two archers. Prowse gets his first 10. That's the first, ma ten, uh, the first maximum of the contest. And it came at a perfect time, too, because it's going to win the set for Steve Prowse. Now, Pidan comes right back, feels that one, but he's going to end up one point short in that second set. Prowse will lead by three set points to one. Both archers mean business. Make no mistake that, I mean, a gold medal is on the line, a world championship is on the line. Winning means everything. Target one, nine, eight, ten. Target two, nine, seven, ten. So scores all locked in, 27 to 26. Prowse looked like he was really not quite in control of that last arrow, but it ended up being a beautiful release from him. No emotion, but I'm sure he is. His heart is pumping inside. of archers from all over the world here in the Czech Republic for this year's para championships great to see again also building towards next year now Paris 2024 the next Paralympics so here we go third set of this gold medal match Arch is not happy with the release on those first arrows. Nine. Well, Prowse looks like he's starting to heat up a bit. Arrow here for Piran. Or was it grab the line? We'll wait and see. 
nonetheless, Prowse can take that start arrow out. The gold score here, or a yellow score. Fucking eight. So we will wait and see. Like it just got obscured by that arrow that went into the yellow, didn't it? Prowse is good scoring here. He's got 110, three nines. So he's averaging 23, 27. So he's averaging around the mid-20s again. This is the scoring that he's able to have been able to achieve through the match so far. Paran is fairly similar as well, although he would have liked something a bit better in that set. So those arrows were Prowse's arrows, and there are no, uh, no doubt it there. No scores. Looks like Prowse might win this set by a couple of points, 23 to 21. Might be 23-22. Regardless of that start arrow, it won't matter. Prowse will lead five set points to one now. And is now just one set point away from winning a third World Para title. And that's what he's trying to achieve here. But on the world number one needs to win the set now to prolong the match, and he also needs to win the last set too. His only hope now is to take this gold medal match to a shoot-off. And win that so it's not going to be easy for the Italian but it's not impossible Starts with an eight. Yellow score just when he needed to. Eight. Well, Prowl stays in touch. Six. So here is a gold medal winning arrow, perhaps, for Prowl's. It's a yellow score or an eight. That is it for Steve Prowse. A tied set is all that he needed in that last set for him to win. And it looks like he has got enough in the bank here. He's waiting for confirmation, but it's looking pretty solid, isn't it? For Steve Prowse, he's been Emotionless all the way through the match. And now, here's the opportunity for him to, to let the emotions come out of touch. Let's see. Paran waiting patiently. Yes, there we are. Confirmed now. It's 23 each in that last set. But Prowse wins by six set points to two. Really solid win for him. And he becomes a triple world champion. With each of his world titles, 
coming in four year gaps 2015, 2019, 2023. Great win there for Steve Prowse, the 64 year old from Stalbridge. Hard luck there for Daniel Peran. He's going to have to settle for the silver medal. And of course, earlier, Nicholas Thomas won the bronze medal. It's a great competition in the visually impaired 2 3 category. Coming soon, an interview with the winner, Steve Prowse, and then the victory ceremony. So stay with us momentarily. We start with our award ceremonies. Thank you. Huge congratulations, Steve. Thank you have you. just won a gold medal. How does it feel? It, it feels wonderful. I think it's been one of the better ones this time because we've had a, a lot of issues over the past couple of years. We haven't been shooting very well and illnesses and COVID. And <laughs> so it's nice to get back to it. But I just wanted to say respect to all of the VI archers because they've been absolutely brilliant. The standards have gone up massively. And it's been really tight this year, so well done to them all. You had a 5-1 lead, uh, Daniel st uh, started to chasing yeah. you. What were your feelings when you had this last uh, one arrow and it was you knew you, you had was, to I shoot? Was, I was eight. just shaking when I was shooting, <laughs> to be honest. I was just really shaking. It's just going through the process and trying to get it off as best you can. So, But uh, daniel has been shooting really well. He's... Uh, He's run us all close this year. <laughs> so. And when you heard uh, you needed an A, uh, 8, and then when you heard that it was an A, 8, what, what, what was the feeling? What I was in your I mind? I just turned to the wife, Leslie. She's been marvellous. <laughs> um, it, it, was, it was just fantastic. So, you know, I thought it was going to go to another draw match and another shoot-off. So. You won a couple of uh, titles. What, do, what does it mean, this one, for you? Sorry? You won a couple of titles. What this one does mean to you? Um, they're all very special. Um, I couldn't really pick one out as being sort of better than the other. We've all had, you know, different issues at different times. And um, we've had a lot of problems. One of the bows got broke in transit, so that threw us off a bit. So we've had to sort of get back into shooting the other bow and stuff so it, it, it's I can't really pick out one that's really special they're just all brilliant so. okay thank you very much right. and once again huge congratulations thank you and thank you to everyone at Bills and as well thank you thank you medals will be presented by Paralympic Comedy President Phoenix Sikora
silver medal representing Australia. Craig Newbury.
Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the visually impaired student three. Silver medal representing Italy, Daniele Milano. anthem of Great Britain.
Roger, that means it's last time for us and also for you. And we will see you for the of this afternoon at 2 p.m. to the top of women doubles, top of men open doubles, and the top of open mixed teams, as well as the top of women and men open individuals. Have a great lunch and see you later. 2 p.m. we start with the afternoon session. Thank you for being here with us.